Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video I'm going to show you how to create a simple linear timer as well as a radial timer in Unity. So if I just play this quickly you see we have a nice linear timer moving and we have a radial and when it's done I just have a text popping up saying you lose. So with that being said let's dive right in. So let's start setting up our UI. We're going to right click in our hierarchy go all the way down to UI and select a canvas. We then go into right click on our canvas and select an image and we're going to rename this to background image. While we're here let's select, let's go to the rec transform and click this icon, press shift and alt and stretch this across the canvas. Then we're going to change the background color. I already have a preset background color that I want to use but you can choose whatever you want. Okay the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add to text holders or text mesh pros. We're going to go down to text mesh pro. We're going to import both of these. We're going to close them off. Uh, we're going to rename this to timer linear text holder and we're just going to duplicate this and we're going to call this radial timer radial text holder All right cool so let's rename the linear to timer linear and we just want to move that a bit up to the left and maybe just stretch this out so that everything fits nicely and we're going to do the same for the radial okay so for this tutorial you're going to need two images the first one being a a rectangle which you can just create for free with a multiple free software out there you can use canva you could use inkscape or if you want to be more uh, a little bit more fancy you could use photoshop or any other editing software and you'll also need a, a spherical 2d image as well so I already have my two images. I'm just going to import that. Cool. So we're going to right click on the canvas again. We're going to select image. We're going to move this up. So what I want to do for the linear, I want to have a foreground and a background. Okay. So what I'm going to do is right click on canvas, create an empty game object and rename this to linear holder. And then I'm going to drag this image in here and I'm going to rename this to linear background so I just want to stretch this out and get it to something like that then I want to make a copy of this so duplicate that and rename this linear foreground all right I'm just going to scale this in a bit and I'm going to drag my image that I've imported into the sprite section and there you see it so what I want to do is I just want to have a little bit padding so we can just stretch this out a bit and get it to fit nicely in there. The next thing we want to do is maybe change the background color to sort of a light gray so we can select the linear background, go down to its color property and select something like that. Okay, cool. Then let's take care of the timer radial. We'll right click on canvas, we'll go to UI and select image. We'll bring it all the way down here and we will drag and drop our 360 image in there. Let's scale that up a bit. Awesome. So that takes care of our UI. One more thing we need is a text to display when our timer is actually done. So we'll right click on canvas, go to text mesh pro and we're just going to say something like you lose. We're going to scale that up. Bring that a bit down, nice and centered. And we can just probably change the color while we're here. Increase the size. And let's change the color to... So I have a color that I want to use and that's orange. So you can put whatever color you want. And before we do anything, let's rename this to you lose text. Text holder. And we're just going to turn this text off because we will only want to display this when our timer is done. Okay, let's save our work and that's done for the UI. Let's now create our script. We're going to go into the assets area. We're going to right click and create C sharp script. We're going to rename this script to timer controller. We're going to double click the script to open it up in Visual Studio or Mono Develop. On my side, it's going to open up in Visual Studio. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is create our public variables that we're going to need. And the first thing I'm going to need is a game object for the you lose text. I'm going to need two image objects 
and I'm going to need one more game object for the timer radial text holder because I also want to turn that off and it is in the background of the ULUS text so let's create those quickly so I'll say public game object and you lose text holder I'm going to create my images so I'll say timer foreground image okay and then I'm just gonna do a control dot and include the unity engine dot UI okay I'm gonna copy this and paste this one more time because I need one more for the radial and I'm just going to name this timer radial and I should actually rename this to timer linear okay the next thing I want to do is create a float for the time remaining so I'll do that quickly and then I want to create a public float for the uh, max time so that I, the reason I'm making it public is that we can just set it in the uh, unity editor to whatever value we want so I can say public float the maximum time and for now I'll just set it to five seconds Okay, so on start what we want to do is we want the time remaining to be equal to the max time so we'll say time remaining is equal to max time so that's all for the start method now we go to the update method and we want to do a I think the first thing we want to do is do a check to see that whenever the time remaining is not zero we want to do certain stuff so we can do an if statement to check the time remaining if that is greater than zero then we want to say time remaining is equal to time remaining minus time dot delta time so a quick way to do that is to say uh, negative equals to and we can say time dot delta time and the reason we use time dot delta time is um, because it works in real time seconds okay in the update it will work in real seconds instead of each frame so what we can do after that is we can actually now we can actually change the full amount of our image so we can say timer linear image dot full amount because that's the full amount we want to actually move in our foreground image and we'll say that's equal to time remaining divided by maximum time so we get a nice decimal value which is going to be between 0 and 1 so we'll do the same for the radial image we'll say timer radial dot full amount is equal to time remaining divided by max time then if the time is 0 we want to display the text and we want we want to display the te the you lose text and we want to actually remove the timer radial text holder what we want to say is the you lose text holder dot set active is equal to true this will enable that game object and we want to disable the timer radial text holder so we can say timer radial dot set active okay so we actually forgot to create this text holder so let's do that quickly so we'll say public game object and we can just say set active is equal to false okay and that's it for our scripting let's head over to unity and hook everything up okay so we're going to create a empty game object and we're going to rename this to timer controller we're going to drag our script onto this game object and we're going to populate all of our public fields so the first thing it needs is the you lose text which is this then we need to give it the timer linear image and remember to give it the foreground image then we need the radial image which we actually need to rename to radial image let's drag that in we want to set the max time to 5 and the last thing it wants is the timer radial text holder which is this text right here so let's give it that okay so one thing we forgot to do guys so in the image itself what we want to do is so for the linear foreground we want to go to the right hand side in the inspector go to image type we want to set it to full and we want to set the full method to horizontal we do the same for the radial image we'll go down to image type go to full and we want this to be a radial 360 let's save our work once again and click play and there you see it works nicely for about five seconds when that's done it displays our text you lose and it disables the other text so there you have it guys i hope this helps you don't forget if you enjoyed this video please consider subscribing it would be appreciated cheers